in nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. It is written that St. Paul's Cathedral is none other than the house of God and the gates of heaven. Thus, it is a portal between the earthly and heavenly realms. An opportunity arises to establish a grand gesture of a threshold to that portal, to be situated immediately opposite its south transept on St. Peter's Steps, now known as Peter's Hill. The architecture remembers the footprints of the buildings that are there currently, but borrows from the picturesque qualities of St. Paul's architecture with Palladian inspiration in order to blend into the street scenes. The design process began with overlaying elements of St. Paul's into the proposed building's plans, but with classical architectural elements stripped back to suit the architectural language of post-war London. After the war, most buildings in the city were built of Portland stone with stripped back classical details. This was the initial ambition, to take up the historical roots of the city as the foundation for reconstruction. With this, Model making, including the creation of the room, atrium and facade, considering stone and its sculptural possibilities as the tectonic development basis begins. The architecture in the three models, particularly in the interiors, has been informed by the making in terms of textures and opportunities of carving textures and also spaces into the thicker walls. This is a modern adaptation of the sculptural methodology of Palladio. This frees up floor space and allows rooms to become spatial and palatial, a fundamental requirement for the building's functions. Palladio believes in emphasizing heights as soon as one enters the building. Step in, look up. This justifies atriums as it is, but of course it allows for natural light to enter the space all the way down to the ground. This is a theme that is continuous throughout the scheme. I look to bring back the boundary between public and private space, but views from the outside environment inwards need to be regulated. Therefore, the window voids are angular for two reasons. According to Palladio's theory, it strengthens the walls, and it maximizes views from inside out, and minimizes views from outside inwards. Since St. Paul's Cathedral represents the ascent into heaven, my proposal is somewhat a departure lounge. The facades look to emphasize the heaven and earth connection, and this connection is established with the experimentation and discovery of natural and artificial textures that can be made from Portland stone. Therefore, the architecture, in terms of its materiality, suits the surrounding setting of St. Paul's, but also maintains its own individuality in terms of its function and form. <laughs>